What's going on everybody? I am with some special folks today. We got we got a guest, two actually two guest appearance for today's video, and I'm not gonna show them just quite yet, but we're doing something different. These guys, they are from the UK and they are carp fishermen, and I'm from the USA and I'm a bass fisherman. So they are gonna take me carp fishing and I'm gonna take them bass fishing. That's the plan for today. Here they are. Gotta in Gotta introduce them. Yo. Alright, what you, you gotta introduce yourself to the vlog. Who are you? Uh I'm Carl Smith. This is my brother Alex, and we make we make fishing videos in the UK. So yeah, I don't know what, quite what we're doing here with Andrew Flair in the USA, but it's going to be fun. So these guys have a YouTube channel. I will link it down below if you guys enjoy the carp fishing stuff. Uh, and and basically they're going to be filming this today as well. So if you want to see their perspective, I'll link that down below. But more importantly, this is what we're going to be rolling with. It's a little bit of a challenge, okay? We're well before I break the rod. We got a nice little spinning rod. This is actually what I use for like my shaky heads and stuff like that. And uh, some nice like 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And actually the line, I'm actually trying this braid out for the first time. It's called God Line. Not actually, I'm not trying it out for the first time. I lied to you. This is called Godline. I've actually used this one other time, and uh, I didn't say anything to you guys, but a lot of you guys have been wanting to know what type of just gear in general that I use. Like, put the links in the description. I'm trying to get better at that. It's just, it usually takes time. So, this is what I'm using today, right here. Godline, okay? Trying the, the spinning, the 15 pound spinning out for the first time. I have used their 50 pound braid, and actually, that's what I caught that 8 pounder on with Rob. I'll roll the clip now. Oh. Got him. Got him. Dude, that's a big one. Dude, that's a big one. That's a big one. Dude, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Here we go. Here we go. That's a big fish. Holy crap. Get in here, buddy. Yes. <laughs> Dude, that's a freaking giant. So if you guys hadn't already seen that, that's that's the lineup. But I'll link, link the God, God line down below if you guys want to check it out. They're helping me with this video. So I uh, would really appreciate it if you guys check them out. So we're going to put it to the test. The 50 pound test braid held up to the eight pound large mouth and the thick brush. We're using 15 pound braid going after big carp. That's the plan for today, folks. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, we're at the first spot. Look at this, we got a nice little spillway going on here. And uh, what we, what's what's the bait of choice? Um, bread. <laughs> bread. What we is there any specific brand or, you know, is it wheat, white? What do we got here? Tell the folks at home. It'll be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. Soft, All right, they sponsored us on this video, but- uh, Soft white. Soft bread. white bread, is that's it. Just yeah. generic soft white bread. Back in England, soft white bread is amazing. Okay. So you're so you what you what you do is you squish it on, all yep. right? Hopefully that will hold on. And then you're just gonna cast, and we got a little split shot on there, right? Yeah, I wouldn't normally, but it's quite a long way down, and it's quite windy, so. So you just cast it out and let it just sit down there, right? Okay. And so, do carp normally hang around shade or or sunny areas uh, or if, both? If they were in the sun, we'd probably be able to see them cruising. So I'm thinking maybe they're going for a a nice shady. It's hot at the moment, you know. We'll try in the shade. Oh. Wait, wait. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no uh -oh. way, no way. We're hooked up. That's big. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. oh no. no. No, 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 no way. No way, dude, you just caught him on that cast. That's big. You that, gotta be that kidding. That feels heavy. Oh no. See, the issue is we've got like a 20 foot drop. Oh yeah. Oh no. I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe you just caught him on that first cast. What do we got? We haven't even seen it. Oh, what is this, dude? What is this, dude? Dude, dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, the only way you're going to get it in, dude. Go wait. We got to go all the way around. Oh. Shoot. Well, passed out. We got to go around all the rods over there. Nice. This is going to be interesting. You haven't seen it yet? I haven't seen it. Touch his back really good and let him run. Alright, so we gotta go we, we gotta go all the way down. Yeah. You gotta go all the no way. No way, dude. What do we even have here? I want I just wanna see what it is before we even try and land it. I'm so So you're at the leader, it's close, it's close. It's heavy. It's close, you're at the leader. <laughs> wow, America's interesting. You you can make one pass with some bread. I'm Dude, do you hear this reel? That and it's tight as well. I'm pulling that so hard. <laughs> One cast, <laughs> and we don't even know what we've got. It's a catfish. Oh God, it's, a it's a it's a big catfish. It's massive. Big catfish. 
So we got you want to climb that you want to climb this and I'll hand you the rod? Hey, no, uh yeah, sure. Hold Let on. Let me have the pole. And I'll get back to him. It was at this moment he knew. He fed up. Oh sh Oh my god! Are you good? Yeah, I missed the, I missed my footing. Oh my god! Oh, like I can't believe you just did that. Yeah, I landed on my feet, it's all good. Oh my god, he just- <laughs> That was a long way. You literally just fell! You ready, Alex? Yeah. C hey, can you wait. grab them by the mouth? No. See where those two fins are? Yeah, these? Yeah. Grab right behind them two fins. Oh boy, look at that. That is a catfish. <laughs> yeah! What do we have here? His tail's V. Uh -huh. That's a channel cat. Okay, this is a channel catfish, and it's um, quite lively. Hey. I actually nearly hey. died trying to land it. First cast, little piece of bread, chucked it in, bang, <laughs> that. <laughs> we were trying to catch carp today with bread, but I'm um, kind of happy with this. In the case of the fish, and also in the case let of- me, Let me see the battle. In okay. the case of not dying. You got a little rub, rub on there. It'll be all right. We'll live. What do you think? I'm alive. PB catfish. PB catfish. Yep. Uh, on bread. America is an interesting place so far. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Going to the second. We're, we're just across from where these dudes just caught the catfish. And uh, apparently this is where the carp are. So we're kind of making our way down here. That was one of the most entertaining fish sketches I've ever witnessed. Literally almost dying <laughs> while trying to catch that fish. This is incredible. But every all the locals here say this is the carp spot. So we're going to venture down here, crawl through these these bushes here and see what we can do. We oh, oh, we're hooked up. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I don't have the I keep, yet. I keep missing the hook sets. Oh. I keep missing the hook sets because it's like a, it's super unexpected when we get bites. They come out of nowhere. You're hooked up. You think it's a carp? I don't have a clue. It's fighting really far. Yeah, probably another cat. It might be another cat. I bring you guys to the States and you guys are just the catfish masters now or what? No, it's a oh, carp. Oh, it's a carp. It's a carp. It's a carp. Sort, yeah. Yay. Is it a common or buffalo? I think it's a... Uh, it's a common? No. I think, it, I think it's a common. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> so that's the first, first carp of the day. That's what we were after, right? Yep, first carp of the day. This is what we came here to catch. And uh, yeah, we got our target fish. A lovely little common. Finally got a carp. And now... Now these boys, these boys showed me how it's done. You know, they gave me some few tips, caught the fish, showed me how to do it. See, you throw the bread out, you chum it up a little bit. Now it's my turn to see if I can catch a fish. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, look at them, they're fizzing like crazy. That's like, oh, oh, yeah, go, 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 yeah, yeah. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, go got, him. got him, got him. <laughs> oh yes, Wait, that's, a oh, good one. that's a good one. We're hooked up boys, we're hooked up, yes. I, I literally have a handful of grass because I was just trying to grab whatever was down here before it came off. Oh, third time's the charm, fellas. Here we go. What do we got? I think it's a decent one, huh? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna go try that's to a good bite. Try to land this thing without getting bit by a snake. And that's how you have the carp. Look at that. Beautiful little, little carp there. That's my first carp of the day. So we've each... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. We're good. He's okay. He's okay. See, you just gotta you gotta pet him a little bit. Tell him you tell him you're his friend and he'll love you forever. My first carp of the day, two catfish and two carp. The boys, the UK boys, showed me how it's done. I think it's like my first time like actually targeting carp other than that Barbie rod challenge. But these guys, they're actually pretty fun. Fun fighters, fun to catch. Beautiful orange fins on there. Love it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, going to leave this spot right now. We're actually headed to headed to a bass pond. So we had some fun, caught some catfish, caught some carp. The boys, the UK carp fishing slang masters, put me on carp, now it's my turn to have fun. I'm gonna put them on some big old Texas bass. We've only got like 45 minutes to fish though, so I don't know if we're gonna catch any big ones, but there's a chance we're gonna catch them on top water, which I haven't done yet this year, so stay tuned. All right, folks, made it to the pond. Look at this gorgeous little thing. I, I lied, I said I was gonna go top water, going with the Stanko, gotta go with the Stanko. It's just, it's so calm and I've just got a feeling that this body of water is actually fairly pressured. And I mean, if you're talking about pressured bass, they're probably not gonna go crunch a popper. I could be wrong, but you know, normally you wanna go with something natural. I feel like this water's probably pretty clean too. So, the classic Stanko, we're gonna see what happens.
You got the boys over here. They got the carp stuff. We're actually gonna try to catch carp as well. But I'm gonna see if I can catch a bass. Did you see him? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That looks yeah, he'll spook. He, that's, he gotta be on a bed though if he's coming back like that. Yeah, he came straight back. We don't really have the best bed fishing bait, but it'll, it'll work. Who knows? Unfortunately, we got to this pond a little late. It was like an hour drive. And uh, as you can tell, the sun's going down. Really want us, one of us to catch just a bass. We've seen them. Kind of tough to see with the sunlight, but I don't know. This Senko might work. Walk around the pond a little bit. Yeah. He's a baby largey. He's only a small one. But we got a bath. He took it before it even managed to do any turns on the reel. Flare. Yeah. A proper flare fish. Yeah. There we go. Not the size we're looking for, but it is a largemouth bass. Say ya. Oh, you got him? He's got him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm coming. I'm coming. Alex is hooked up. Oh, gosh. He's got a carp. How big is it? I don't know. He's bigger than the ones out here. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at the GoPro. Sucks. It's so dark. Oh my gosh, there, there we go. Now we can see it. You gotta be kidding. Oh my gosh. So we came to the new spot, clearly. Yeah. I was throwing a, uh, a popper and a Senko. You caught a small bass with a Senko. Yep. Took notes from the master flare of the baby fish. <laughs> and then you got tired of the bass and said, let me catch this giant carp and you look at you. Yep, and it's all, it's all gone to plan. It's all gone to plan. Let's see if we can oh, get it. Gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I, dude, I can't believe this line is still holding up. I know. Like, of all the fish, the cat, we haven't even retied. Both catfish, all like three carp, plus this guy, haven't even retied. Crazy. Look at that. Dude, look how orange they are. That's big. We got it. Look how, that's like just vibrant orange. Look how big its fins are. Oh, beauty. Look at its tail as well. You good? Awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you did it, boys. This is surreal. <laughs> did it? Oh, that's unreal. That's a way to end it there. Oh yeah, that's a good way to end it. And that right there, folks, is the conclusion of my adventure with the UK boys. As you can tell, I am back in Nebraska. I left right after I got done filming this video. Didn't make an outro. It's kind of a classic to do the outros here, but I uh, wanted to say huge thanks to Carl and Alex for coming with me, showing me how to catch carp and catfish. It was actually a really fun time. I will link their channel down below, like I said before. If you guys want to check out their stuff, they're giant in the UK. They make like TV production quality videos. It's insane, but that is the end of today's episode. I wanted to remind you guys, we have like a few hours left of the Guggen sale. We're doing like a spring 75% off. Pretty much everything, the backpacks, the tackle boxes, the clothes, everything, all on sale. I will link that down below as well. I think it ends tonight at midnight if you're watching this on the day that I post it. But anyways, I wanted to remind you guys of that. But want to remind you also to uh, hit that subscribe button on my channel if you have not already, because I'm gonna be doing some epic adventures here coming up, especially in May. May the month of May, it's my month, boys. It's going to be epic. I'm excited because I get to stay in the Midwest and catch Nebraska brutes. It's a very, very fun time. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys appreciated and enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Drop a comment down below. I tried something new. Went carp fishing, went cat fishing. It was fun. I had fun. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments, comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.